Okay, a lot of people asked for number 12 on the sample test. You are 60 meters above the ocean on a cliff face. You're launching a projectile at 100 meters per second. We'll assume three sig figs. It has a launch angle of 35.0 degrees. You are asked to figure out what delta X is, how far away from the cliff edge it hits the water. So let's inventory everything. Uh, first things first, we want V sub X. V sub X is the initial, the adjacent side, so cosine. Cosine of our initial angle. So that's 100 meters per second <laughs> multiplied by the cosine of 35.0 degrees. So V sub X, calculator time. Somebody find me a pink calculator. Here's one. Okay. Uh, all right, and remember, pink calculators are the ones you got to use on the test. 100 times 35 cosine. You put the 35 and then the cosine uh, equals 81.9. 81.9 meters per second for V sub X. VY initial is equal to V initial times sine theta initial, which is... 100 meters per second, guys, keep it down a little, uh, times the sine of 35.0 degrees. My handwriting is getting worse as the day progresses. VY initial 100 times 35 sine is 57.4 degrees. I could be, I'm sorry, 57.4 meters per second. Uh, other variables that we know is that delta Y is equal to negative 60.0 meters because we end up 60 meters lower. Then, and of course, G is equal to the acceleration in the Y direction. So in the X direction, guys, a little less. Shh. Thank you. I'm trying to record this for your use later. Okay. Uh, all right, so we're going to use the y direction to figure out how long it's in the air. Use the x velocity to figure out how far it goes out. So in the y direction, um, I'm just going to list out my kinematics because I can't think without seeing them. Uh, so vy, vy final is equal to vy initial plus g times t. Not using that because I don't know vy final. Uh, that's not helping me much at all. Delta Y is equal to uh, VY initial times T plus one half the acceleration from gravity times T squared. Again, I might be able to use this to find time, but that's going to use a quadratic. Uh, the squared one, VY final squared equals VY initial squared plus two times the acceleration times the displacement. I can use this one to find my VY final and then use that VY final with this VY initial to find the time. That's the avoidance of the quadratic. Right? So that's my starting point. Uh, so for uh, this one, I'm solving for VY final. VY final is equal to the square root of VY initial squared. So that's uh, 57.4 meters per second getting squared plus 2 times G, 9.81 meters per second squared. And that really should be negative multiplied by my delta Y, which is definitely a negative 60.0 meters. Square root all that junk. VY final... Uh, I always start with a more complicated statement first. Two times, I'm going to drop my negatives because they are going to cancel. 9.81 times 60 plus 57.4 squared equals, then I get my square root, 66.9. 66.9 meters per second in the y direction or downward so it should be a negative now I can find the time 
v y final equals v y initial plus g multiplied by t. Therefore, t is equal to v y final minus v y initial divided by g. v y final is a negative 66.9 meters per second. v y initial that I have to subtract was a positive 57.4 meters per second. Am I still on the screen? Yeah. Uh, divided by g, which is a negative 9.81 meters per second squared, which is good. Negative term in top, negative term on the bottom. Time will be positive. So I didn't imagine things. It's not going to be an imaginary number or anything weird. 66.9 plus 57.4 divided by 9.81. I've already taken all the negatives out in my head. 12.7 seconds. That's a lot of time uh, to be in the air. So our delta x is going to be v sub x multiplied by time. Uh, which is equal to 81.9 meters per second. Meters per second multiplied by 12.7 seconds. Delta x, 81.9 times 12.7 is 1,040 with three sig figs. Um, and that's going to be meters which was actually one of the answers. It was letter C on the practice test. All right, that's it. It's probably the ugliest kind of thing you got to do. It's, you could have resorted to a quadratic, but you could have avoided it. We avoided it. Um, and you're using, you're launching at a non-zero angle, which makes it difficult. You're launching with a delta Y, which makes it difficult. And you're solving for uh, the x component so of things. That the hardest, like, That's probably about the hardest kind of problem that you can get.